Sure, we recognize the name Gallo as being synonymous with California wine. But what goes better with wine than cheese, right? Enter Joseph Gallo, brother to wine entrepreneurs Ernest and Julio. Joseph broke away from the family wine business in the 80s and took a handwritten recipe for making cheese and followed his dreams all the way to Merced County. He remained farming there until he passed away in 2007. But now his son Michael and grandson Peter are working to advance Joseph's dream of sustainable farming and thus continue the Gallo legacy in agriculture. I get to learn a lot on the farm and my dad has a wealth of knowledge. He learned a lot from his dad, so, you know, we've been a family farm since 1946, so there's a lot of history there, and, and every day is a new adventure, and there's always a lot to learn. Just like the family's wine business, which is the largest family-owned winery in the world, nothing is done small around here either. With more than $3 billion in cheese sales annually, Joseph Farms is one of California's largest cheese-making operations making everything from mozzarella to pepper jack to sharp cheddar. They see the process of cheese making from cow to curd, even growing their own feed for the herd of cows, which produce the milk for their extensive line of cheeses. So when we got into business, we decided, you know, we were gonna produce a quality product. And, you know, my father always told me that, you know, you can't make a quality product unless you put quality into it. They are now making 100,000 pounds of cheese a day here, which means a lot of milk from a lot of cows that also make a lot of something else. Yep, you guessed it, a lot of cow waste, shall we say. But in order to keep with Joseph's beliefs of staying sustainable, the family came up with a solution. They built one of the first methane digesters in the state, which turns cow poop into power. The cow power now provides as much as 80% of the electricity needs for the cheese plant. The methane digester was important because it literally turns wastes into resources and it turns something that normally would be um, a waste management problem, it turns it into green energy that runs our plant and it really makes our cheese a sustainable cheese brand. And I think uh, beyond saving us money, it's also really great for the environment. What are we walking on? Well, it's uh, air uh, caught inside the digester, and um, it's essentially the world's largest waterbed. It is, right? The farm is so committed to extending Joseph's legacy of loving the land around him that they even donated an area around the farm to the state of California and to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to create an environmental preserve for waterfowl. It's all part of the larger picture that Joseph had when he started his venture. Having grown up on a farm, he had always enjoyed the outdoors and believed that wildlife and agriculture are fully compatible and that connection should be protected for generations to come. The new phrase is sustainability and, and it's a new phrase uh, for something that farmers have been doing for centuries, which is to preserve the farm, preserve the family farm, and preserve the way of life. To do that, you have to put in as well as take out. And as long as people are enjoying the products they are making on the farm, the next generation will continue Joseph Gallo's legacy in the world of sustainable agriculture. After all, what tastes better than the success of knowing you've left something better than the way you found it? I have a lot of pride in, in what my family's done and, and, um, and the business that they've created. And, I'm just proud to be a part of that and help out any way I can. Mm -hmm.